Okay, this is our extraction setup. There are different instruments for extractions, but this is a start. We are going to start with our basic. We have our cotton tip to place our topical. We have our anesthetic syringe, depending on the tooth number. Let's say we're going to extract number 30. We would place our anesthetic into our anesthetic syringe, open it, rubber tip down, and we would use our yellow needle, our long needle for a block. We would put that in. And harpoon it. We have that ready for our doctor. We have our surgical suction. It's got a smaller tip on it to get into the surgical site. It goes onto the same that the HVE does. We have a retractor. This is a Minnesota retractor. Retracts the tongue, cheeks, anything that gets in the way. Bite block if the patient can't stay open. We have two by twos and cotton rolls. We have our mirror, which is good for retraction, holding the tongue back or the cheek back, anything to get in, in or out of the way. Explorer and a little shepherd's hook. This is just to help see, remove tissue, anything we need. We again have locking cotton pliers. Locking so when you pick something up, these lock so you don't have to worry about dropping anything. The first thing we would begin to pass our doctor, usually we start out with our small and our large elevators. They have large handles on them. We would make sure that the patient is numb. We have two different sizes. This is our small and this is our large. You can always just put them side by side and see that like, the shovel size of it is just a little different. There are different variations of these. The small elevator separates the tissue and the large elevator can actually lift our tooth out. So we would give them these one at a time. We could use the periosteal elevator. Next, this one is a good one for retraction. This side can hold back tissue and release and remove the periosteum from the tissue of the tooth. It is the connective tissue around the neck of the tooth and just helps open everything out and get, get it loose for the doctor. These are forceps. This is actually a 150. There's a 150, a 151. They're all used for different types of teeth. Maxillary, mandibular. We give it to the doctor. We'd have cotton in our hand. The doctor would extract the tooth. We would take this with us. Spoon excavator. It looks like this is our surgical curette. It looks like our spoon excavator. Two different sides of the spoons. It is to remove cysts, granulation tissue, anything that is inside the surgical site that should not be there. If once the tooth is removed and there is rigid bone or sharp bone around the sides of the extraction site, they would use a bone file. The bone file is just like a file. They would take it and they would use it to remove and shape the sides of that site. They could also use the rongeur. Rongeur is sharp. It is used for cutting the bone. They would also put a hand piece just in case you need it. This can go around the edges of the tooth before you start, and you would use a 557 burr. That is 
is your surgical extraction.